So we're checking out Shoko Cafe, and this is like the first Japanese restaurant in all of New Mexico. It's this Japanese hippie family that lived in a van in California and decided to make Santa Fe their home. And what they wanted to do was share a little bit of their food with the people of New Mexico. Hello. Hi, I'm Ayame Fukuda. Hi, Ayame. Hi, Sheldon. Nice to meet you. This is my mother and father's restaurant. They opened it in 1975, and my mother's name is Shoko. It's called Shoko Cafe. The building is an original adobe building built around 200 years ago, and this is, you know, a really old uh, former bordello, actually. I heard there's like a green chili tempura that is amazing. Green chili tempura is, as far as we know, um, an invention being made by my mother okay. in the early 70s. We'll be rolling up some sushi too. Yeah, that'll be fun. We had a neighbor, uh, Margaret Zamora, when we lived in Albuquerque for about six months, and Margaret would teach my mother northern New Mexican cooking. She was showing her how to make a chili relleno, and she's like, oh, that's process is so similar to tempura. And she decided to try the green chili with the tempura. This is Sheldon, Chef Hi. Sheldon. And you, Jesus man. is our tempura chef today. We're gonna slice it through and then we're gonna just do traditional style tempura. Just dipping the green chili uh, into the batter. I love it, look at that, the batter is perfect. Sometimes the tempura batter gets too, too heavy, so it's clunky and it just falls. You want all of these ribbons to come off of it so that it's light and crispy. To this day, your mom is still in the kitchen. Yep, every day. Around. She's the hardest working one here. Was your mom trained? She was trained by Isao Kosaka, this Japanese chef with French training. We sent him to Japan to learn everything and came back and he taught my mom. So now it's your turn to make shrimp stuffed green chili tempura for us. Okay, so we stretch out the shrimp and then it gets stuffed in like that. That's like stuffing cheese when making chili rellenos. Yeah, yeah. So you're gonna dip it in the batter nice and light. You're gonna glide it in. How did people react to Japanese food here in New Mexico at first? Well, they embraced our food, but they also didn't know what it was, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. A lot of people would come in asking for chow mein and egg foo young and that <laughs> kind of thing. And then we integrated them into our very early menu. Kind of ease everyone into exactly. it. Exactly. And then yeah. now it's a totally Japanese. Absolutely, completely Japanese. Come <laughs> <laughs> on. Yeah. <laughs> Played it up like that the next time, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is our chef, Victor. So, Victor, how long have you been at Shoko? Uh, 11 years. You're from Guatemala. Yeah, I'm from Guatemala. How, how long ago did you come to New Mexico? 12 years. 12 years yeah. ago? Why Santa Fe? You know, Santa Fe, like small city, like people here, like friendly. And I have like some family here too before I came. His brother Felix worked here as a sushi chef also. When my father opened his ramen restaurant, Naruto, in Albuquerque, he took Felix with him. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They used to stand here side by side. Oh, that's amazing to see that. How was it training under Shoko? She was strict? Yeah. She says, looks beautiful, tastes good. Victor invented his famous uh, Victor roll. So we got some fresh scallops. The searing brings out all the oils to the surface. Wonderful flavors and umami. This is yeah. pickled burdock root. Then yeah. cucumber, the avocado. The big guy tuna. The big guy. Avocado, and then the seared scallop. So he's using two types of tobiko, squid ink, and then wasabi infused. There's a lot of great texture going on in this row. Oh yeah. The first sushi restaurant opened in like 1970 in California. Uh -huh. And you guys opened up in 75. So you guys were in that first wave of people knowing about sushi here. In I'm pretty amazed myself. I'm not sure how it worked out. Mm -hmm. mm. That's delicious. The best part is the masago. I know, yeah, that yeah, crunchiness in there. Popping in your teeth. Yeah. We're in a landlocked state. Where'd you guys get fish from? So when we first opened in 75, you couldn't get any fish in Santa Fe. We would contact fish vendors from LA 
and we would have to put in an order the week before or whatever and then have the fish flown in. We would have to go pick it up at the airport. So every week, uh, my mom would sort of like survey her customers. Tuna, what do you want? Yellow tail, do you want octopus? And that would help her decide what, you know, what fish to order for the next week. I love how light it is. You can literally like <laughs> see the crispiness of oh, it. Oh, yeah, I see. We have three different kinds of dipping sauces, so that's the traditional bonito dipping broth. The idea is to balance the oiliness of the tempura with the sauces. It's funny that you say the oiliness, but this is like one of the lightest tempuras I've ever had. Oh wow, that's cool. So before we lived in Santa Fe, we lived like nomads all across the West Coast. We lived in a van, pretty much, in a van. <laughs> so my parents were really unconventional Japanese people. <laughs> they met in art school in Tokyo. They didn't feel that they fit into normal Japanese culture. And then my mom was a painter, my dad was a creative graphic thinker and head photographer for the World Macrobiotic Foundation magazine. And there was a, a contest sponsored by a big magazine in Japan, and he won. Wow. <laughs> yeah, they would pay for him to go anywhere in the world to take pictures. This is the mid-60s, mid the hippies, hippies and the civil rights movement. So he went to LA and San Francisco oh, and right Berkeley. right in the mix of it. Yeah, yeah. Even though they were like hippies and kind of radical in their thinking in terms of getting away from Japan, when they got here, it's all they had. They didn't have other Japanese people to have a community with. So I feel like they became more Japanese raising us here in Santa Fe. And so at home, we pretty much, it was all Japanese macrobiotic food. Western American hippies totally were attracted to this way of thinking. And they look, you know, they'd be like, oh my God, Hiro and Shoku from Japan, teach us. You know, what is Japanese food? Teach us about Japanese culture. So from there, you get, they decided that they'd open a into new a location, restaurant. into mm -hmm. a restaurant. The green chili and, and shrimp works well huh, together. Mm -hmm. Your Santa Fe roll. I love how the freshness of the green chili still comes through. Mm -hmm. you no know, creamy against that crispiness of the tempura. By the time we're in, we're in New Mexico, I was about five. My sisters were three and one. You know, we were in the van. We didn't really have a home, and any place was home. Take a bath in the river and then move on to the next place. <laughs> we go to communes. I hadn't had any formal training in school, or I wasn't reading books. My language level was not up to par at uh -huh. the age. So my parents were like, poor Ayame. <laughs> we need to get her into school. We ended up settling here. What's recent times here in Santa Fe? There seems to be really, really artsy downtown. I think the Georgia O'Keeffe and Santa Fe arts movement attracted a lot of people from the East Coast okay. and the West Coast to come here. There's an upside to it and a downside to it. Yeah. You know, economically, it's hard for the people who've been here for a really long time. You know, to fit in and you know own property. Is like the newcomers are coming in and raising, raising the property prices. So it's kind of one of our big issues. I have amazing legacy here with my family to carry forward and we want to invite everyone to enjoy it and how do you get people to do that? You know, you want to, hey, we'll try this, it's got green chili in it and integration of different cultures. I think that that's been a key to why people love it here so much. What signifies Santa Fe New Mexican cuisine? 